A nuclear bomb, also known as a nuclear weapon, typically consists of several key elements that work together to create a powerful explosion through nuclear reactions. These are the things to do to prepare for a nuclear bomb. 1. Fissile material. The core of a nuclear bomb contains fissile material, which is the substance capable of undergoing nuclear fission. The two primary fissile materials used in nuclear weapons are uranium-235. Enriched uranium-235 is used in some types of nuclear bombs. It undergoes fission when bombarded by neutrons. Plutonium-239. Plutonium-239 is another fissile material used in nuclear weapons. It is typically produced in nuclear reactors and can also undergo fission when bombarded by neutrons. 2. Explosive conventional materials. Surrounding the fissile core is a layer of high explosives, such as trinitrotoluene or other explosives. These conventional explosives are used to compress and implode the fissile core, causing it to reach supercritical mass and initiate the nuclear chain reaction. 3. Initiators. Initiators are small quantities of radioactive materials that produce a burst of neutrons at the moment of detonation. These neutrons initiate the chain reaction by bombarding the fissile material, causing it to start the nuclear fission process. 4. Detonators and Timing Mechanisms Nuclear bombs require precise timing mechanisms and detonators to ensure that the conventional explosives surrounding the fissile core are triggered simultaneously and symmetrically, leading to an efficient implosion. 5. Reflectors and Tamper some nuclear bombs incorporate reflectors and tampers, which are materials that help reflect escaping neutrons back into the fissile core. This enhances the efficiency of the chain reaction and increases the yield of the explosion. 6. Casing. The bomb is enclosed in a casing made of various materials, including metal or composite materials. The casing is designed to withstand the extreme pressures, temperatures, and forces generated during the detonation process and to help direct the explosion in a desired direction. 7. Delivery System Nuclear bombs can be delivered by various means, including ballistic missiles, aircraft, or even through ground-based methods. The delivery system is crucial for targeting and deploying the bomb accurately. 8. Safety and Arming Mechanisms Nuclear weapons typically incorporate complex safety and arming mechanisms to prevent accidental detonation. These mechanisms ensure that the bomb can only be detonated under specific conditions and by authorized personnel. It's important to note that the design and components of nuclear weapons can vary significantly based on the type of bomb and its intended purpose, such as strategic or tactical use. Additionally, the production, possession, and use of nuclear weapons are subject to strict international controls and treaties to prevent their proliferation and to